once again reporting live from another location that we are not familiar with. And we have another episode of What's in the Bag. Hey, Willie. Good to see you, man. Yeah, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. What's going on, everybody? <sighs> Ooh, glad to be a part of the show. I've heard so much about it getting a lot of buzz on the internet uh i must have watched the episode with you and patrick at least the first 30 seconds of it um just really capturing and then i had some other things to do but wanted to come on and uh show you what's in the bag so where do we go willie what do we do willie willie you okay bud what's going on man you not feeling well You're hungry? Oh, I feel like you're always hungry. I mean, you're always eating. Man, all right. Well, that's all you got to say. Uh, I guess I'll take it over from here. Show you all at home what's in my bag. Start with the big stick, the Vapor Fly Pro driver. It's beautiful blue. Got the Volt. Been in the bag for about uh, four years now. Love it. Set it at about uh, nine and a half degrees and uh, let it fly. I really uh, like to just grip it as tight as I can and just swing as hard as I can. Uh, and if I'm feeling like uh, I really have the eye hand coordination going, I'll even close my eyes when I do it. What's that, Willie? Still hungry. Okay, sorry. Right. Next in the bag is uh, my tailor made uh, hybrid. It's a three hybrid at 19 degrees. So this is my next down in line when I'm playing some of those uh, tight fairways. Maybe uh, from around here if you're playing like East Moreland. Uh, some other of those golf courses, you just gotta get in the short grass. This is my go-to. And uh, I've had this in the bag only a few months. Uh, in fact, as you see, we go through the bag. A lot of these were COVID-19 during the pandemic purchases. I'm doing a lot of traveling, so uh, definitely making some golf purchases. All right, Willie, you doing okay over there? Do you need like a crustable or something to keep you occupied? Uh, next to my irons, and uh, I go four through DAP wedge. And uh, these are uh, PXG generation two irons. I got the extra stiff flex elevation shafts, uh, set at two degrees upright. And I had Nike irons in the bag for a long time. Then uh, a really good friend of ours, former uh, MPO specialist, Sean Fanukin, working for PXG, uh, talked me into it, as any good salesman would. Took me out to the range, got me fitted, and these are like cutting uh, butter with a knife, man. It's just, whew, just beautiful. It's like poetry in motion, as long as you don't watch the swing. But the ball hitting the club is pretty amazing and remarkable. So, got those four through gap. Move on down to the wedges. I carry a sand wedge, which is a Cleveland sand wedge. I actually bought this at a red tail tent sale uh, on my way to a golf tournament one time because I realized one of my, one of my wedges were uh, not USGA conforming. The grooves were illegal. And so I bought it, and I put it in play right away, and it was beautiful. I loved it. Uh, Regripped it with uh, our friends here at uh, at uh, Pac West Golf. Did the golf pride? Very nice. Love that. Will you do good, man? Yeah. Your hair looks great today, by the way. You know, that's one thing I really love about Willie is that he always makes sure his hair is on point. I love that. I can appreciate that. Really can. So. Thank you, Will, for doing that. Okay, next wedge for you Nike former golf club fans. I know Patrick had all Nike clubs in there. But Nike, you know, Patrick's old school. He He's kind of the guy that likes to, you know, uh, play Oregon Trail and maybe, uh, you know, people say, oh, the iPhone 12's coming out, and he's like, I'm more of the Nokia flip phone. So. That's okay, it, whatever works, right? And uh, I've got this Nike wedge of mine, 60 degree. Uh, this is the, the VR Pro. 
It's trusty. I love it. The grooves are starting to wear off a little bit. It's about as smooth as Willie's uh, shaved face right there, but it's okay. It does the job for us right now. Oh, now we go to the putter. Yes. Big Trailblazer fan. Really proud of them for getting that one win this uh, NBA playoffs. That was huge. Uh, I didn't watch after that, so I really don't know what happened. But In any case, another Nike club in the bag. Got the Nike Method uh, Convergence Putter. This is amazing. Um, the S212 Face Balance. Just recently regripped it. And uh, I really love it. I've had it in the bag now for about four years as well. And we're starting to like each other, which is good. It's kind of a love-hate relationship. If the putter's doing really well, maybe I move it out of a cold closet and set it in the by the bed in kind of a warm little bed, especially right before tournaments. You really just want to treat your putter well. All right, Willie, thank you so much. Uh, I know Patrick showed some stuff that was like, what's, what else is in the pockets and stuff? So, he used some uh, cool ball markers. Got this one from Chambers Bay. Uh, also got, um, sometimes I like to keep some change in there. Uh, some lucky pennies to mark my golf ball. I also have, oh, I gotta show you this, uh, Will. You're gonna love this. So this is my uh, Scotland St. Andrews towel, which is pretty cool. I probably could wash it, to be honest with you. Uh, I got it last year when I was playing the old course, and um, I haven't washed it since. There's a little bit of sentimental value there, some dirt from from the old from the old course, and uh, and then playing a lot this summer. You know, you know about that, Willie. You playing a lot this winter? I've heard you've been playing a lot of golf. Um, so here's some more uh, kind of looking into the bag. Uh, these have been amazing. The, uh, the resin platinum, I use those. Um, I've also got the very cool Nike tees, uh, bolt tees there, very important. Um, sometimes as a ball marker, I'll actually use a Coors Light cap. Um, it kind of bothers my playing partners, but it makes for a good, and actually if it's windy, it won't blow around. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what else? Oh, yes, oh, and then, if we look down here, yes. So this is uh, my Yankees mask. Got to wear that to the golf course. Uh, just so many championships and so much legacy there. It really inspires me to, to play good golf. So very important to have that with you. And uh, that's in, what's in my bag. Willie, how you doing? What's that, Willie? It's playtime. That's right, Willie. It is playtime. All right. I guess we'll wrap it up. Thanks for taking time to uh, check out what's in my bag, hanging out with you and uh, Willie. He fell asleep, actually. It's nap time for him. So it wasn't playtime, nap time for Willie, which is understandable. He had a little bit too much milk. Hope all is well with you. Thanks for hanging out and checking out what's in my bag. Oh my gosh, Aaron, this is amazing stuff. I really like this episode. It's been fantastic. And uh, you're really showing us an in-depth look on your well, back. we should do a segment on dogs. I really, I really like dogs. And oh, my tag fell down. Dang it. Oh, anyway, I just see dog parks like this. And I just think about my old pal, Rusty. Oh, he was a beautiful dog. Anyway. What's that? We gotta do the show? Okay, all right, all right, back to the show. Man, I can't wait to have my guest Aaron on the show. Really excited, I haven't seen him in a while, and I really hope he likes my new hair, and he doesn't mind that I'm not wearing any shoes. Hey guys, uh, before we go live, can we make sure there's a Diet Coke ready for my uh, my guest, Aaron? Can we, can we make sure he had it on his contract? We need to make sure. Yeah, Willie, we got it, we got it for him. All right, yep, all right, we got the Diet Coke. Hey guys, all right, we're, everybody, we're going live here in a couple minutes. Q for guests. Q for guests. Everybody in their spots. Hey, producer, have we seen uh, the host, Willie? I heard what? He's he's using the bathroom? Okay, we, we got to go live in five. Don't put me on the, don't put me on the camera. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to go take a break. Just laying down over here. Leave me alone.
Okay, sorry, Willie. He's backstage, folks. Okay, we'll we'll go live here in a little bit. 